Our neighborhoods are strong, resilient, and when things don't go as they should in our neighborhoods, we come together to find a solution. And behind our strategies are our leaders, Chicagoans who live and work in their communities, who understand their neighborhood's strengths and weaknesses. They come from different backgrounds, but have the same goal, to build better communities. Together, they not only plan for where they live, but plan for our city, working together to make a difference. Carlos Nelson will be the first to tell you there's no blueprint for the kind of work he does. A former engineer, Nelson quit the corporate world to become a leader in his neighborhood of Auburn Gresham. I really work to just rebuild my community, build the people in my community, and help as a conduit for folks in the community to aspire to attain great things. At one time, if you looked at our streets, you would get the feel that it was kind of like a ghost town because you didn't see the seniors, you didn't see the young kids, people were afraid to come out. And I think because of this new communities program platform and the work of lead agencies and faith-based organizations and strong political partners, we've really been able to engage those same residents that were afraid to come out into Auburn Gresham and now they have taken leadership roles and really have manhandled a uh, revitalization of their own community. It's because of the youth in the community, it's because of the elders, it's seeing the faces of people smiling and looking at their community and saying, look at how far we've come. And that's what keeps me coming in every day. Livia Villarreal is strengthening her community by helping residents make good financial decisions. She and a strong group of community partners opened a center for working families in her neighborhood of Chicago Lawn. It's a place where residents can get help with their finances, get employment support, or talk to a professional about how to save their home from foreclosure. This wasn't a concept that we just decided to put in the community and see if it worked. This was a concept that was originated, came out of the community, and then because of the NCP planning process and all the organizations that were involved, residents could trust us. Awareness is huge, but if you don't know where to get that information, if you don't know how to get that information, if you don't know where to go to get trusted information, how do you address those issues? Providing those services to community residents it gives me great reward. I work, I, I live in the neighborhood, so I do take it very personal. Rob Castaneda is building up his community through sports. As director of Beyond the Ball, Rob not only helps youth grow up positively in his neighborhood of Little Village, he teaches them to be community leaders. As part of LISC's Neighborhood Sports Chicago, Rob has helped grow the idea of using neighborhood streets as safe places to play, bringing some of Chicago's divided neighborhoods together to play in sports tournaments. When you deal with youth, you look at them for their assets, not for their deficiencies. You know, a lot of times people will provide programming for uh, youth and see, oh, these are gangbangers, or oh, these are, you know, teenage mothers. Instead of identifying those youth as, oh, you know what, this is somebody who's really creative. That's what LISC does for communities, and especially our community. They look at us as not a community of, full of all these deficiencies, but a community that has local strengths and they support those strengths on a local level and they allow us as a community to be able to address our you know, social issues because a lot of people have a very one-dimensional view of neighborhoods, especially what are considered as you know, working poor neighborhoods and that's that nobody near cares, somebody needs to come in from outside and rescue them, but really a lot of times it's just a lack of resources. When we first became familiar with the New Communities Program and, and LISC, we had a very, very small view of what we were doing. And I think through this, the New Communities Program, through our relationship with LISC, we get to kind of see things on a larger scale and how what we do fits in, not just in our neighborhood, but on a citywide level, on a national level. 
We're always passionate about our work because at the end of the day, it's about our, our youth and it's about our community. It's about making this a better and a safer place. But to know that the things that we're doing here can help impact other communities like ours, not only in Chicago, but also throughout the nation through that LISC network, it's a pretty amazing feeling.